Okay, welcome back to Chasing Heat. I'm Kevin Gibson, and I'm here with a sizzle or fizzle challenge for you. So what I have here is the hot and spicy Firewalk Molten Chili Chicken Flavored Ramen by Nissin. It is, quote unquote, for those who really love really, really hot stuff. Uh, this is There's a series of these. This is the hottest one, uh, and it is a buck fifty. There, well, I found a family dollar of all things, um, and the package says that it is has a spicy yet tangy Korean chili pepper sauce that builds the heat with every bite. Spicy yet tangy. Um, in other news, there is no added MSG, so that's good. But there are 2,050 milligrams of sodium, which is about close to 90% of your daily recommended intake. 560 calories, 8 grams of saturated fat, which is a lot, um, but luckily there's a little potassium and a little bit of iron, so there you go. It's, uh, it's not something you want to eat every day. I'm just going to eat it today, see if I like it. If I do, I'll buy more and just eat one a month or so, but we're not here for that. We're here for, is this stuff really hot? I mean, it's got, if you look at the side of the box, like the, it says the word challenge, take the challenge, and the, and the the, you know, the font is like very much like the Pocky One Chip Challenge font. Um, you know, so it's this thing is really kind of trying to make you think that this is some sort of a challenging thing for, for idiot pepper heads like me. So I'm just going to eat a few bites of this and see if it starts to build like it says. Then we'll be out of here and I'll decide if it's a fizzle or a sizzle. Look at that. So I have a deep orange color. It doesn't look any hotter than the other spicy ramen I've ever gotten. Interesting flavor. I wouldn't call that chicken flavor, but a lot of spices in there. So far, it's not really throwing any heat at me. It's very sticky. It's not soupy like I expected it to be. I brought a spoon to get broth. And there's very little broth. Come back here, you. There's very little broth to be had. So man, it's not gonna work. I have to get, keep going with the pork. A little bit of heat building now. A little bit, not a lot. So you make this stuff like normal ramen and then there's a quote-unquote fire sauce packet you put in at the very end and stir. And that's what's supposed to light you up. So far, I like it okay, but you notice I'm not coughing or sneezing or anything. Do it again. But right now. about close to halfway through and there's heat but much like the uh, rose pepper Campbell's chicken noodle soup the nose is starting to run a little bit it's not really blowing me away you know, there are way better super hot ramen brands out there in fact I might put a link to to one uh, I'll put a link to this as well down below.
this would definitely line up your mom or your dad. And if you're a pepperhead, that's a fizzle. Yeah, it's a fizzle. It's fine. Tastes good. I might get some more. We'll see. But it's not ripping me up. I was hoping it would burn me, you know, burn me up pretty good, and it's not. So there you go. Hot and spicy fire walk is hot and spicy, but it's not going to hurt you. So with that, thanks for watching. I'm Kevin Gibson. This has been Chasing Heat. Please, please follow the channel. Please like the video. I'll be back soon.